All right, everyone, welcome to this daily Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for Thursday, August 6, 2018. All right, so today we have the moon shifting into Cancer. So a bit of a contrast from the past couple days, which may have been more about communication and practical things. Uh, today shifting into more of the soul-guided things. Really good time to be listening to our feelings, maybe reflecting on the past, and just getting in touch with a bit of this uh, protective and caring and nurturing qualities of ourselves. So um, themes around that more than likely today, but Saturn is going station direct. So this is a bit more on the deeper aspect of the personality, but we may notice that we're going to start to implement some of the things that we've been reflecting on the past five months involving our structures, involving what does require discipline and patience, and now starting to put that stuff forward. Um, we do have a grand cross today with the moon, so maybe a bit of um, restriction or working within that we'll talk about. And going into tomorrow, Mercury does form a grand trine with Saturn and Uranus. So into tomorrow, maybe some new ideas and a bit of a freeing energy with our mind that can still be quite grounded. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Thursday. Again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out that link down below for more information. All right, so the moon in Cancer, water sign here, very different from the past couple days, which had more to do with the practical things in life, uh, communication, learning, those types of things. But uh, certainly today, noticing this shift into more of the, what you might consider receptive aspects, the water energies. Cancer, the crab specifically is about creating a protective environment for ourself and others to get in touch with this more receptive stuff, right? To connect to our feelings, to reflect on the past, to connect to those things and people that are important to us on an intrinsic level, emotional level, you know, it could be a good day for spending time at home or with family, these types of things. So maybe noticing some themes today about connecting to our roots, to our emotional foundations, our soul, and really good to develop these qualities with the moon here today. So in a larger perspective, you know, we are closing out the uh, lunar cycle here. We're going to have a new moon on Sunday. So we are entering into the ending phase, the balsamic phase of this lunar cycle. We may start to notice the energies are dying down. And usually it's good as we approach the new moon to do some clearing, right? So it might be maybe getting some rest, relaxation, kind of clearing that routine perhaps. Also internal clearing, meditation, spiritual activities, always really good with this. So just getting in touch with a bit more of this lowered energy time and close out time as we approach the Sunday time period. All right, and that new moon will be in Leo again. So another new moon in Leo around the corner. The sun's still been in here. So still a great time for gaining energy through doing the things that we find passionate or fun or creative, expressing ourselves. You know, these types of things is certainly still the um, source of energy. And we'll be starting a new cycle with that here around the corner. All right, so in terms of the uh, aspects here today, we do have Saturn going station direct in Sagittarius. So uh, the past roughly five months, if you've been reflecting on any particular area that you've been taking seriously, right, rethinking what you've been maybe working hard at or building structures with, or maybe you've just gotten a bit of a break from some of the more serious things or more structural things in your life. So this is a very deep part of the personality. So we don't all, always, you know, we're not always aware of it, um, you know, happening, but we could start to notice going into the later part of the week, maybe some of these things that we were reflecting on, we're now starting to implement that we want to take seriously. In other words, what are some structures we want to start building? What do we want to start to bring in this discipline and patience with and doing the right thing with, with Saturn? Um, and so this will be a great energy to move forward. Now, down below, since, um, again, this will be more personal for each of you, I will put the house that Saturn is going direct in, so you can see specifically what area now will likely be this ne next shift in the right direction involving building structures with. Now, collectively, this does have to do with Sag, 
So it could be things that we've been maybe hopeful about or inspired about now starting to move forward in this grounded way of, again, doing the work and building that stability um, with those things. All right, so that's very important there. Saturn direct here today. Um, could notice, again, just a bit of pause. Good day, just kind of pause with structures, you know, long-term plans, long-term goals, things we've been building. Maybe just kind of pause because there will be that shift of perspective more than likely uh, going into tomorrow with that. Um, a lot of these lunar aspects you see here is basically this grand cross that we've got forming with the moon. Essentially, the moon's going to go over the now the north node and square up to Venus, Mars and Uranus or pose up to Mars and square Uranus. So this is a lot of different energy. I think the takeaway from a lot of this is that it's uh, very much about the interpersonal planets, Venus and Mars in particular. So a good day. This is again more emotional because we're talking about the moon. It's nothing too major in a larger sense, but if we're feeling a bit restricted, maybe in those interpersonal connections, maybe with asserting our needs, maybe with Uranus wanting to break free or break through in some way, good to, as it always is with all squares, to be conscious of that, right? To be aware of these sort of emotions, these feelings, accept them, right? And through that, consciously work with them, right? So seeing if there is anything we want to maybe make some changes with that we want to, you know, break free with, but do so consciously and constructively. Same with relationships, right? Bring in that extra attention to relating, yet being conscious of us asserting our needs, but also being reciprocating, give and take. These types of things, really good way of working with that uh, lunar grand cross today. But again, a little more minor because it is a lunar aspect. But going into tomorrow, and we will probably feel this more so tomorrow, is that Mercury is actually going to be forming a grand trine. So Mercury will be trining up to Uranus and Saturn. So speaking of all this kind of forward moving structure, this aspect of ourself that's wanting more of the structure and discipline is probably quite supportive going into the weekend where we're probably feeling a bit grounded mentally. We might be communicating things quite grounded, but yet it's very freeing. We could actually be maybe gaining some new insights, seeing things outside the box, seeing things in a new way, communicating in a new way expressing ourselves in a new way with that trying to Uranus, but it's still grounded. And this is actually an aspect that has been taking place this year between Saturn and Uranus, which has been grounding the sense of freedom, grounding these aspirations. And since Saturn's direct, he's going to be um, as close to this trine again. And so this could be solidifying a bit of this now stability with whatever it is we want to have more freedom with in our life. So asking ourselves the question, what can we maybe change, have more freedom with in our life, but does require patience, does require responsibility, really good day to start to continue actually to implement that sort of stuff. All right, so that's the uh, day in a nutshell, a lot going on astrologically actually. Most important thing, structure starting to move forward, Saturn direct with a lot of support with Uranus and Mercury, helping us see things outside the box and create positive change that's grounded uh, but the backdrop today the moon and cancer good day to be connecting to again our feelings the emotional aspects of life our soul the past and create this protective environment and listen to our feelings especially with this grand cross right with maybe some of these squares arising that extra conscious attention there can help really ground this and it can be very constructive day very constructive for those interpersonal relationships and again created creating structural freedom in our life. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the Daily Forecast.